Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. So in this video, we'll talk about object oriented concept and specifically in this video, we'll talk about the concept that how we can call a protected method inside a child class. So in the previous video, we already discussed how you can create a protected method inside one particular class and how we can access that particular class from the same method but at this point of time we will use the base class and we will extend it to the child class and from that child class i will call um, protected method in the child class so without wasting time let's start so our agenda in this video that a method that are declared as a protected can be called from the method in a subclass of the class that contains the protected method so we will try to explain this concept so uh, let's jump into the coding section as you can see that we have written this particular code uh, uh, in our previous video if you want to uh, see that you can see our previous video i'll just keep the link of that video in the description so we can uh, see that video to understand this code and the output so if you'll uh, actually uh, run this code you can see that we have a protected method inside this person class and another method is there which is actually taking the parameter and we are trying to access uh, this methods protected method inside our main method so if you'll run that so you will get this type of result but i'll not explain here the output so you can see our previous video but at this point of time i'll stop it and i'll uh, make a child class okay to access this particular uh, method whichever what, whatever is present in this uh, base class so we'll create the inheritance concept so for that i have to create a class another class so at this point of time i'll create a new item and i'll give the name developer and if we'll add it you can extend the person class here so you can make it as an internal final but at this point of time i'll remove all this uh, specified from there i'll use the keyword extend okay to make it inheritance and after that if here i have to use the class name of the person okay and after that you have to save in this developer class you can override the method protected method whatever is present here you can override that but we will try to access each and every method which is present in this class so i'll cut all this code from here this section person class okay and i'll just copy and paste over this particular method so will it be possible to call this particular protected method here so you can see that there is a problem that it is giving or the error what it is saying the method protected is protected and can be called only from the method in person or from classes or table that derive from the person so as you can see that we derived the class person class but at this point you can see that we are using the object of the person class so you can see that we are trying to access through the object of the person class so that's the reason we will not be able to access all the methods three method different methods which is having in this person um, class so what we have to do so to resolve the problem here we have to create the object of the developer class so first we will create a object developer here and after that we can access it so you have to use the new keyword to create the object and again you have to give the developer and now if we'll use this particular object to call the method which is present in the person class that is possible so you have to use the object of the developer so if we'll save it now you can see that no error is there and you can easily access all the methods which is present inside this particular person class so we have not used any kind of uh, method overriding so if you want to override any particular method so you can also do that so i'll do that you have to just copy 
one particular method which is present in the person class you have to copy it and you have to paste over here so if you'll save it you can see that no error is there so you have to change the whatever the sting value is there so inside the protected method inside the person class but i am inside the developer class right now okay so for that reason you just write over i am inside the developer class so if you'll call this particular method uh, in the section using the opj or object developer then at this point of time because of the overriding this particular method will show only this particular code but it will not show the code whatever the present inside this base class so why because we have to remember that whenever we will call a override method it will call call only the um, code or which will run the code whatever present in the overridden method so that's why it will print this particular method only but if there will be requirement if you want to run the code whatever present in the person class in this method so what we have to do so for that reason you can use super keyword okay and if we'll call the super method then whenever we'll call this particular method it will go to this method and because of this super call it will go to this pattern class and it will print this one okay and again after printing it will go back to this particular line and after that it will print this one so if we'll use the super one then both your parent that mean uh, person class code will be run also that whatever the code is present that will be also run so can i call this super um, below this child method so you just try and if you'll save it this is possible and at this point of time what will happen so whenever you will call this particular method so it will directly write the message here and after that it will go to the parent class and after that it will print whatever the value or uh, line of code will be there it will execute and for that reason it will actually execute this line of code okay and you will be able to see inside protected method inside person class so this message will be shown after this particular message because our call super call is below this line so that's the reason in the same way if you want to override this particular method or this particular method that is also possible so if you want to call it or override it inside this particular class so how we will do that so for that reason you have to save it and if you'll save it now you can see that we can override it so let me first debug it then i'll show you the result okay but remember that uh, this time we are not using this particular object so you can write the comment here because we are not using this one right so we are using the developer one so you have to remember that whenever you will use the extend keyword or inheritance facilities then you have to use always create the child class object so now we'll right click on our project and we'll build it now from the below section you can see that our build process completed now if you want to see the result you can see the result with the, by clicking the start button and remember that don't forget to make it as a startup object because the main method present in the developer so that's why you have to make it as a startup object uh, developer one okay and after that you can click the start button to see the result you can see that our program executed and i'll explain it uh, the result so to see the result you can uh, click on the message details and if we'll go to the code and in, if you'll go to the directly in the code you can see that we have a object creation here and it will call this particular method uh, protected so it will call for the child class protected method if it is having okay so you can see it will go to directly this method and if it will print this message so that's why you can see inside protected method and developer inside developer class this match message is actually showing and directly you can see that it is having the super call so it will go to the uh, base class that is the person class 
and it will go to this method and it will show this particular line so that's the reason inside protected method is inside person class it is showing and it will go back to again this line and after that you will try to execute this particular method add method protected and add method protected you can see here there is no add protected method uh, because we have not overridden this uh, method we have a one method which i have overridden but this particular method i have not overridden so that's the reason it will go to directly the parent class because in inheritance we know that it actually call the parent method so that's why it will go to this particular uh, method and it will uh, take the value a and b uh, from the call itself so it will get the value uh, 12 and 10 and it will print this particular line and it will give 12 plus 10 equal to 22 and it will show the result so that's the reason uh, it is it is showing this particular line and after that it is showing the 12 plus 10 equal to 22 and again you can see uh, from the developer class uh, this line executed and after that uh, it will create one variable and it will call this method and it will pass the 10 and 11 and you can see that we have overwritten and at this point of time you can see that this method is overridden in the child class but we are not calling the super that's why it will not go to this particular code again here so it will directly execute these two line and it will return the value and if you calculate the value it will return the value 21 and return value will be 21 and if you will print it you can see 21 and that is why you can see that this 21 value is showing here so i hope how you can use the protected method you understood this concept okay now i'll stop it and i'll explain one more point here so you can see that protected method is present can i call this protected method from another uh, protected method which is present in this child class so let's try to call this particular method so if we'll copy the signature uh, and if you'll we'll give a semicolon here you can see that it is getting one issue here or one error so if we'll, if you'll we'll see the error you can see the name protected method protected does not denote a predefined function a static method on the global class on the global class uh, not a previously defined local function so this way if you want to call it that is not possible okay so to call it you have to use the this keyword okay so if we'll call it this dot the method name then it is possible so this means it is referring the object of this particular developer class so this means the method which is present in this developer class call that one so if you'll we'll use this way if you'll we'll call this way then you can call the method protected over here so i hope uh, it's clear how you can call a protected method in the child class so one may one question may arise that can i write a public method here so yes if you want to write any public method uh, which is only for this developer one you can write a public method here also you can write the protected method one another protected method here also you can write the private method inside here okay also if you want to declare member variable uh, specific to this developer class you can also do that so i have not discussed here uh, with the constructor and the many member variable in this video but in the later video you'll be able to understand how you can play with the member variable in the inheritance concept so to understand the concept of the constructor and member variable how can initialize you can see our constructor video then your cons concept of the constructor will be improved okay but our agenda was how we can call a particular method of the base class inside a child class or the derived class i have just shown and i also have shown that how you can call one particular method which is overriding or which is present inside a derived class that 
you can call through the this keyword and if you want to access that you have to use the object of the child class and after that you can call it and how the method right method overriding concept is actually happening how the call is actually going from child class to parent class and how we are using the super you understood from this video if you still if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section we will try to improve or we will try to provide the solution as soon as possible so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one